Does your voice sound like Vin Diesel after deep-throating a banana? Well, you may be sick. Now don't panic. Even though your options are limited, there are still plenty of things you can do. So here are eight tips of what to do while sick. Tip number one, masturbate. Let's face it, you're not feeling great and left in front of a computer for hours. Might as well get a quick dopamine fix. Quite frankly, your entire day should revolve around this. Sleep, eat, masturbate, repeat. The only problem is you're gonna have to keep escalating. Sure, the first few times regular intercourse will do, but it's not gonna be enough to get you off by day three. You're gonna have to keep watching wilder and wilder shit. Just be careful. Careful, because getting caught watching doggy style is embarrassing, but getting caught watching actual doggy style is a life ruiner. Tip number two, scroll through dating apps. Modern dating is exhausting. It used to be as simple as spoon feeding drinks into someone until their double vision makes you appear more attractive. But now it's a tedious task of swiping through thousands of people, finger crossing you don't get sent dick pics. Well, when you're sick, you have plenty of time to swipe right. Just don't make the rookie mistake of looking through people's profiles. Beggars can't be choosers. You'd be lucky if someone was willing to touch that Jackson Pollock you call a face. Besides, once they see your cankles, they're just going to leave you anyway. So like Nicolas Cage being handed a script, just say yes to everything and hope when you're feeling better, they don't get sick. Tip number three, infect your family. How dare your sister use your iPad without charging it? How are you supposed to watch Minions now, huh? On your older iPad? Like a peasant? No. It's time for revenge. Cough in her pillow, lick her doorknob, sneeze in her perfume bottle, make sure that you're not the only one suffering. Or, if you're an even bigger sociopath, it's time to take out grandma. That b can't even get your name right. And sure, she has dementia, but that's no excuse. She doesn't remember you because she hates you and wishes you were gone. But you're smarter than that dried up wallet. And with her out of the picture, you know what that means? That's right inheritance. Even if she doesn't leave you anything, your parents are definitely getting some. Guess who's getting a new PS5 when you start crying over grand grand passing? It's simple trickle-down economics. You trickle down some tears and receive financial rewards. Tip number four. Order shit off Amazon. Remember when you had to go to the store to buy stuff? Horrible. I know. Now, no one will judge you as you order tissues, lube, and season one of Paw Patrol. Being sick doesn't seem so bad when you're two days away from having a Nizuko body pillow. Also, on second thought, you might want to order more tissues. Tip number five, post on social media. What better way to win sympathy points than by posting, not sure if I'm going to make it, bonus points if you're in a hospital bed. Now, if you're a guy, uh, no one will give a shit. But if you're a girl, it's time to use this to your advantage. You see, all your male friends aren't actually friends. They're wolves waiting in the distance for you to give them the green light. So now is the perfect time to use their blue balls to your advantage. For example, let's say you wanted some soup. Just reply with, I wish I had some soup right now. You'll inevitably get some simp that offers to get it for you. All you gotta say is, you don't have to. Make him think it's his idea. You're not the pretentious one telling people to get you groceries. You're the sick and feebled girl who just has nice friends. Tip number six, take a bath. A bath is a great way to relax and remind yourself how great it is not living in Africa. I mean, they can't even find clean drinking water as you're laying in 40 gallons of it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it gets me every time. Anyway, if you're a guy, I know a bath seems pretty lame, but it's the only time you're getting your d*** wet anytime soon, so you might as well take it. If you're a girl, then think of a bath like a poor man's spa day. Light some scented candles, drop in a bath bomb, look up your boyfriend's new girlfriend, and convince yourself you're way prettier. That way, the only thing making you sick will be your ex's taste in women. Tip number seven, step on a scale. We all know you're struggling with your weight. That dress may hide your muffin top, but we can all see your face, and those cheeks look like you're hoarding acorns for the winter. But luckily, when you're sick, you tend to lose weight, so might as well make the best out of a bath bad situation, step on a scale. Take a look at a number that makes you say, hmm, maybe I won't kill myself this week. Tip number eight, binge canceled celebrities. Many celebs have been canceled over the years. Army Hammer, James Franco, the green M&M. Now most of them have done horrible things, but does that mean you're not allowed to enjoy their work? Sure, R. Kelly was convicted of child pornography, but have you heard I Believe I Can Fly? It's a banger. I've listened to that song ever since I was a young boy, almost as young as his victims. And yeah, Kanye is now Hitler's number one fan, but does that mean he can't listen to Gold Digger? How else are we supposed to warn rich black men not to think with their dicks? Telling people what they're allowed to or not allowed to enjoy is bullying. Don't let people bully you. So you shouldn't be afraid to listen or watch whatever you want. But it's easier to do it when no one's judging you. So being sick is the perfect time to play that new Harry Potter game without being called the N-word for white people. That's right transphobic. So those are my tips of what to do while you're sick. They probably weren't the tips you were expecting, but they're the tips you deserve. Just remember, you can't go to jail for coughing on someone. Thanks for the PS5, Grandma. <laughs> mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.